Have you ever stood outside during a storm and felt the wind on your skin? That wind direction can actually tell you what a storm might be doing and what it might do next. Picture yourself standing in an open field watching a storm approach. If you feel warm wind at your back pushing towards the storm, you're experiencing inflow. The storm is literally inhaling warm, moist air like a giant atmospheric engine. This happens because rising air inside the storm creates a pressure deficit. Nature abhors a vacuum, so surrounding air rushes in to fill that void. The warmer and more moisture-rich this inflow air is, the more latent heat energy gets released when that water vapor condenses inside the storm. This inflow fuels the storm's power. And strong inflow often signals that severe weather, including tornadoes, is possible. Now imagine the opposite scenario. You're in that same field, but suddenly cold wind hits your face, rushing out from the storm. This is outflow, the storm exhaling the cold, stable air it has processed. This air is cold because it started as rain or hail high up in the atmosphere. And as that precipitation fell, it cooled the surrounding air through evaporation and melting. This dense, cold air then sinks rapidly and spreads outward when it hits the ground. When you feel this cold blast, it tells you one of two important things about the storm's behavior. First, the storm might just be outflow dominant. Think of it like a supercell where the cold air rushing out actually disrupts the warm air trying to flow in. We call this undercutting the inflow. When cold outflow undercuts warm inflow, it creates wind shear near the surface, but it can choke off the storm's main energy source. These storms don't usually reach extreme intensities, but they can persist for hours because they've kind of found kind of an atmospheric balance. The second possibility is that the storm is weakening. This is especially true when storms are scattered and isolated rather than part of a larger system. Of course, the reality is more complex. In powerful supercells, inflow and outflow work together in intricate ways to create the perfect conditions for severe weather. The most dangerous supercells achieve what meteorologists call inflow-outflow balance, where strong inflow feeds the updraft while outflow boundaries help focus and enhance rotation without completely disrupting the storm's circulation. But here's your key takeaway. When you feel strong, noticeably cold outflow rushing from a storm, the tornado threat is typically limited. In fact, the storm may indeed be in its final stages. Understanding these wind patterns gives you a real-time window into a storm's life cycle, right from your own backyard.